Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Lacovera, and I'm standing in Dinosaur Hall in the historic Academy of Natural Sciences. And you know, we've only known about dinosaurs for less than 200 years, and we get a little bit of information about them from teeth that are found, from rare skin impressions, even sometimes from dinosaur poop. But mostly what we know about dinosaurs comes from their skeletons. And in rare situations, those skeletons are so well preserved that you can actually see the muscle attachment scars in those bones, allowing us, like you see over here, to reconstruct where the muscles were attached and their size and their power. And then we can put the skin on that. And then we can start to understand these magnificent ancient creatures in the same way that a biologist today would understand a, a grizzly bear or a tuna fish. So I want to talk to you today about a wonderful, amazing animal that I found in southern Patagonia called Dreadnoughtus shrani. And Dreadnoughtus in life was 85 feet from snout to tail. It stood two and a half stories at the shoulder and all fleshed out. It would have weighed 65 tons. That's the mass of eight or nine T-Rex. But what's really special about Dreadnoughtus is that we found over 70% of its skeleton. Most of these supergiant dinosaurs are known from just a few bones, but not Dreadnoughtus. And so Dreadnoughtus now gives us the best window that we've ever had into the biology and therefore the behavior and the lifestyle of these giants that once roamed the earth. And I see my friend Dreadnoughtus over here right now. So presenting Dreadnoughtus Shrani. Now I'd like to take you back to the place where Dreadnoughtus was discovered, 6,000 miles from here, to Patagonia, Argentina. When I was prospecting in the Badlands in Southern Patagonia in 2005, I found a little patch of bone exposed in the desert. And that turned out to be the thigh bone, the femur of Dreadnoughtus. And I was surprised when we found the fibula, the shin bone, underneath there. And then by the end of that first day, we had about 10 bones exposed. And then four years later, we had 145 bones of this giant dinosaur. We have every major body segment of the animal represented. And for those 30% of the bones that we don't have, we can look at the close cousins of Dreadnoughtus and get an idea of what those bones should look like. The upper arm bone, the humerus, is almost as tall as I am and very broad on top and has this magnificent muscle attachment. And then you can see the tail of this animal is very, very long and very, very powerful. So this giant 65 ton animal had essentially a weaponized tail. It had nothing to fear in its landscape and thus the name Dreadnoughtus. One of the new technologies that we're applying to the study of dinosaurs in my laboratory is 3D laser scanning. We capture the images of all of the bones of Dreadnoughtus. Now we can do a few things with those. We can do experiments in a virtual realm in the computer, or we can print those out using a 3D printer, and then we can do biomechanical experiments using techniques from robotics. We can see the muscle attachment scars on all of the bones. And so we're able to map this out for the first time on a really big dinosaur. And from the size of the scar and from how deeply it's incised into the bone, we can get some idea of the relative power. Dreadnoughtus would have had scales that covered its body. We have no idea what the color of Dreadnoughtus would have been. But really, if you look at modern animals, think of the biggest animals. Think of whales, think of elephants, hippos, rhinos. What color are they? They're gray. So how massive was Dreadnoughtus? Well, if we put a 65-ton Dreadnoughtus on the scale, to balance that scale, we have to add not one, not two, not three, but 12 big bull African elephants. And remember those T-Rexes that I talked about? Well, you'd have to put nine of them on the scale to balance one Dreadnoughtus. Now this is something that surprised me. If we put a Dreadnoughtus on one side of the scale and a Boeing 737 on the other side, the scale doesn't balance. Dreadnoughtus is heavier than that jet airplane. Why study dinosaurs? They were amazing. They were on the planet for over 165 million years and they evolved into everything from a T-Rex back here with teeth the size of a steak knife to birds, to little hummingbirds, to a fuzzy penguin, and to giant beasts like Dreadnoughtus. 
I think, the most amazing creatures ever.